Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Games here. So in this video we'll define an engine class, load the data from the settings.json file uh, containing the rules of the game and some additional uh, data structures our engine is going to be relying on. Then we'll initialize uh, the board array and define the site to move. That's pretty it. So if you're interested, without further ado, let's actually start. So here is the JSON file I've been talking about. So let's have a look at the content. Uh, we have the FVN string. Uh, which would be turned to the board position the directions kind of heart of the entire engine so uh, how likely the pieces are about to move on the chessboard the colors are intended to map uh, the certain piece type to, uh, to a certain color to distinguish between uh, your own pieces and opponent's pieces the weights to calculate the material the square table to give, to give an engine an idea of where to develop its pieces the second and seventh ranks uh, squares uh, to handle double, double pawn pushes and pawn promotions. The coordinates array is needed to handle the user input uh, to convert the string uh, from the user input to the certain index uh, to, to provide a from square and to square. And eventually we have this uh, pretty fight Unicode pieces to uh, pretty print the board that's pretty it okay so I just invoke my ipython shell and you're free to use whatever id you like I just really love to develop in the command line so let's import json and define the class called chess so we're going to be using our json module to parse the data from that settings.json file i hope that's clear and let's define the constructor so here we take the self instance as always in python and the file name okay then we want to open the file uh, with a given file name as f and now here is a trick that we can do in python so in order to initialize the internal fields of a given class we can simply say self dot dictionary and now if we point to a dictionary data type it gets initialized automatically so in our case i want to say json dot dumps and uh f dot read i'm sorry not json dumps json loads to parse the json and f dot read okay and now let's create the class instance so chess equals chess and i'm using this settings.json as an argument okay and let's print the entire dictionary first so chess.dictionary to print all the internal fields and then uh, i'll show you how uh, how we can use it so here is the entire list kind of like well it's actually it's a dictionary from the data type, pers type perspective so now all the items we had in this settings of json file are simply accessible the following way so we can simply say print let's say chess.fen and here we go we can print chess the directions and here are the directions and so on so on so i hope it's clear now chess dot and then the name of the key within this dictionary and we got the corresponding data type so that's that's how it works in python okay guys so the next thing to consider i want to uh initialize our board array so let's create self dot board and it would be equal to well let's start with a self dot uh sorry with yeah self dot fen and dot split and i want the verb first part and for now this is enough so let's print chess dot board so now the board is equal to fen but it's not really what we want so let's go further on so then uh, I want to replace 
uh, the slash symbols with space, uh, sorry, with a new line plus space. So let's have a look. Now it already looks like a board at some point. So now let's replace uh, the digits with the corresponding number of uh, empty squares. Okay. So I'm using the list comprehension here. So I can simply say for character in this list. So I want to use a dot multiplied by how many uh, multiplied by the convert into integer and our character if character is digit okay and otherwise I want just to come up with a digit okay so a bit of a tricks here so this one here let's say join uh, well then uh, anyway then we will uh, convert this to the actual list not a string so uh, uh, because we need a mutable type because string is immutable and we need a mutable type and to print the board uh, would it be doing like this so join board and here I want to say list and like this so here is our board okay and now we need to, so we have the left and the right bound so the right bound is new line characters will left bound our species well let's actually uh kick start with using some symbols just to make it uh visually kind of seen okay good so okay jason load so here before i just want to set up one more here then we'll convert them to uh we'll convert them to white spaces okay yeah i'm um, sorry not the x but the new line actually here okay here we go and now in front of this stuff in front we want to say so uh, we have eight uh, we have eight uh, columns so eight columns plus one left one right so here is the layout so one left one right so eight nine so nine empty spaces and one new line character so one two three four five six seven eight and new line character okay hold on a sec uh well let's actually let's stick to the axis it's just visually seen better one two three four five six seven eight nine okay yeah and now we need to multiply this by two no it's just can be done like multiplied by two here we go okay so we already we already have the upper bounds for our board great and now we need the same thing down below here okay so here plus and i just can grab this one copy and paste did I just uh, yeah I don't need this one okay yeah so now we have uh, all the bounds uh, being available here and here we have the new lines but just to make sure that we have exactly 10, 10 by, by 12 elements board because otherwise our offsets are not going to be working so we need to make sure that the board is 10 multiplied by, by 12 so uh, we can check it by uh, printing out the length of a board so let's say print the length of chess.board so what we have here 120 10 multiplied by 20 by 12 is 120 so this is okay okay guys so now let's convert it to one two three four five six seven eight nine so let's switch them to spaces one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and one two three four five six seven eight nine okay 
and here we go and also right over in here like this and like this so now we have our board for now i'm not going to be pretty printing this using uh, well i could have actually pretty print this using this uh okay let's go for it sorry let's actually go for it so we can also say let's use a list comprehension here as well so list comprehension and here we again like we just join okay and we can say for character in this list so we can say so instead of the character we want empty space plus and self dot i'm referencing the pieces this pieces self dot pieces indexed by the piece and if i did everything properly it now should print okay sorry we're not we're not without uh we're, we're not in the class so chess obviously i'm sorry p is not defined uh yeah let's call it better call it p rather than c okay and here we have our chessboard position being printed in a normal way okay guys so the very last thing for this uh video we need to initialize the side to move so self side equals to and i say self dot fen so we split the fen so by default it splits by the uh by the white space by the way and now we need the word first element and if this first element is equal to w which stands for white we want to initialize uh side to move to zero otherwise to one so let's also print the site to move so self dot side and okay sorry guys i just i'm using the cell because i used to work within the class okay chess that side and we have zero now if we change uh now if we change the side to move here to say black and save and run this again then we have the site has been changed to black okay guys this is it from my side so in the next video we'll create a move generator and regarding this one this is kind of it so thanks for watching until the next time and take care